the new constitutional carry law, it does say you are no longer required to let law enforcement know you've got a gun on you or in your vehicle. What's up everybody, Tactical Santa here, and today we're gonna to talk about caring and dealing with law enforcement. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk about this is if you've seen some of my videos around some of the laws and stuff that have changed over the past several months, uh, especially with constitutional carry, uh, there have been some changes and I know I'm still getting a lot of questions around this. So I figured I'd just go ahead and kind of single this one section out here for this particular video to help everybody understand uh, what you have to do or what's uh, required to do now when you're carrying your handgun and dealing with law enforcement. So with that being said, let's get into uh, the nitty gritty. If you go in and actually read the new constitutional carry law, it does say you are no longer required to let law enforcement know you've got a gun on you or in your vehicle. Now, with that being said, I'll be honest, you can say what you want about me, call me a fucking traitor, backstabber, this, that, all right? I'm not a big fan of that. Now, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of, I guess I'm, I'm not a fan of being required to, you shouldn't be made to do anything. You should be respectful because their job is hard enough as it is, all right? I've got some friends that are law enforcement and, you know, we've had discussions around, you know, that particular change in the law. And I'm telling all of my students when we discuss this that just be respectful, make their job a little bit easier and let them know that you've either got a gun on you or you've got a gun in your vehicle. You be cool with them, they'll be cool with you. So you can say what you want about me or whatever. I, I really could give two shits less, but their, their job is hard enough. If you don't believe me, the, there's videos out there to prove my point all over the place. Their job is hard enough. Don't make it any harder. Help bring their stress and their anxiety down a little bit when they get up to your vehicle or you know, they happen to be talking to you out in public. Mr. And Miss Officer, hey, just so you know, I've got a loaded gun in my vehicle. Mr. And Miss Officer, just so you know, I've got a loaded gun on my person. This is where it's at. Because if something happens and you don't tell them and you start reaching for stuff and your gun happens to, you know, show or print or they see the holster or whatnot, they don't know if you're reaching for your wallet or your gun. They don't know if you're reaching for your cell phone or your gun, if it's in that same general area. Just be respectful, people. That's, that's all this is about is respect. Now, are there some officers out there that don't deserve that respect? You know, I'm not gonna sit here and deny that there's not, but I mean, that's just people. And there's people out there in general that don't deserve some respect, but Everyone that I've dealt with and I've been carrying and I've let them know you, I was cool with them. They were cool with me. Like, hell, my brother's gotten out of tickets because, you know, he was telling them what he had in his vehicle. And they end up talking about what he's got, what he's carrying, what kind of holster he's using, stuff like that. Now, I mean, if you want to be a dick, be a dick. But... Don't get mad at them if they happen to pull their gun out and hold you at gunpoint because they saw you reaching for your identification and they see a holster or a handgun print through your shirt or your shirt lift up where they see it a little bit. I mean, it's just so frustrating. It's just common sense. But like they say, common sense ain't common no more. And I'm not saying that about everybody, you know. I mean, some of y'all might watch this and get pissed at me because, you know, you know what they say, the truth hurts. But just 
be respectful, people. Respect that they have a hard enough job as it is. If you want to be a dick, be a dick. I can't help what happens to you when you're a dick. Because sometimes when you're a dick, you deserve stuff to happen. Now, I'm not talking about you getting shot or dying or shit like that before you start putting words in my mouth, but just don't be a dick. Let them know what you've got. Tell them where it's at. Follow their commands. I mean, come on, people. It's Trust me, I know what they go through. <laughs> and a lot of them have tried to get me to become a... No, I ain't got the temperament for that. You, you can call me what you want. You can call my family what you want. I mean, words don't bother me. The minute you start throwing bodily fluids at me, no. Mm -mm. New... I just, uh, uh, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm scared that I do not have the restraint when it comes to that because I ain't playing with you spitting or like I, you know, one one guy was telling me that he actually had a guy that had shit his pants and was throwing shit at. I mean, no, 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 I ain't playing that. But just be respectful. Let them know that you've got it in the vehicle. By law, no, you do not have to. You no longer have to let law enforcement know you've got a gun on you or in your vehicle. But the dead horse that I was going to beat is just be respectful and let them know. Make it a little bit easier on them. They want to go home to their family at the end of the day just like you want to go home to your family. So that that is the that's what the law says. The law says you don't have to. I'm just saying just be respectful to what they're already having to deal with and just let them know it's not that difficult people okay but now if you don't want to you ain't got to that is totally up to you whether you want to be nice or be a dick you know some of y'all are probably going to be dicks and that's why you're a dick so and you're probably always going to be a dick it's up to you I just wanted everybody to, I just wanted to, like I said, I wanted to single this out, give some clarity on this. If you have questions, please put them down in the comments. Emotional outbursts, concerns, whatever it might be, I will respond to you as quickly as I can. And yes, I do my best to respond to everybody. Always thank you for the support. Please continue to support, like, comment, share, subscribe. Please go check out our Give, Send, Go. If you can donate, donate. If you can't, just share. Get the word out there. We're trying to make some improvements, and I'm wanting you to be the investors. I want my true followers and supporters to be the investors here. I'm not trying to take anybody's money and go run away with it. I'm trying to make improvements. I'm trying to make it better to have a better training facility for everybody. But always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink because I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink. Who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars. Flip the handlebars. Crashing in my car. Wake up in a bar. I'll be a superstar.